that people like to do rapier and dagger. I'm not going to quote any uh, old manuals or treatises or books. Uh, I'm not going to let slip any names of masters from five, six hundred years ago. What I'm going to say simply is that a lot of people prefer a movement more like this, the long blade forward. I prefer the short blade forward. Okay, so I'm going to be teaching some of this. There will be times when we switch back and forth, though. Okay, so we're going to go over a little bit of the finer movements. On guard. You ready? Okay. So something you see that happens quite often is people fighting a rapier and dagger. They keep their blades moving, but as you can see, they're really susceptible to the forward thrust in between their blades, okay? So you have to remember to keep your measure on your distance. Know where the other person's blade is. Now his blade's longer, but my blade was still very, very close coming into his head. I just waited for the movement and did a little thrust in. Straight through, rapier and dagger straights, rapier and dagger, the, the, the straight in thrust, is the best skill possible. Very nice. A straight in thrust. Right to my neck, right here. It's a very good shot. Okay, it was, came straight in, in between the blades. Okay, the other move is a simple feint cut to the body, okay? With this type of sword, you can't do damage to the body like that. Okay, it's very simple. Come up, when the guard goes up, I'm blocking his long blade over here. When his guard goes up, I come underneath. Notice where my body is. I'm inside his sword here, okay? So say, if I hit here, his next move will be with his dagger, which I block. A bit of rapier and dagger, or in this case, sword, dagger. So let's take a close look at the two different types we're using. As you can see, this is very meaty. It's big. This is a dark wood sword with uh, one of his bigger blades on it. Over here, we have a dark wood uh, sword. As you can see, it's going to be longer by, it looks like about five inches, and thinner. It's gonna be faster. Also, this is a Paul Chin. It was a Paul Chin uh, practical rapier, but it's been broken off and made into a dagger. So both of these do not flex. You can see this one's much bigger, heavier duty. So we're not gonna do a lot of stabbing with these, but we will do some cutting perhaps. So it's gonna be two different types of swords. This is a real cut and thrust kind of blade. This is more like a rapier blade, but we will count cuts with it. Okay, with me tonight, I have the Anselmo brothers, Skyler, Lucas, turn around and look at yourself. Okay, I'm Greg. So tonight we're going to do a little bit of that and uh, try to put this up so people can do what we do. So what you see is the cut and thrust sword is much heavier and harder to wield quickly. So it takes a lot more experience to wield an actual sword that's actually going to be able to deliver a cut uh, at a pretty short range, okay? Um, as opposed to a longer, thinner blade, which is excellent for thrusting, this can also thrust, as you've seen. But what you want to be able to do, no matter the length of the blade or the size of the blade, is utilize footwork and, move, and movement and understanding how to capture 
your opponent's blade. Now we have Greg and Lucas. Uh, Lucas has the longer blade, Greg has the uh, shorter blade, as you can see. All right. Okay, so now what I'm going to try to do is demonstrate how to control the longer blade in, in a natural fight and how to pass and get head cuts or head thrust or body cuts or body thrust against this blade. I may even go for a leg cut. He may too since his blade is so much longer. Okay? Okay, how did I get inside? I worked my way in bit by bit, fainting. When he brought his blade out a little bit too far, I came inside of it. Got his arm and then his head. A double cut. Okay, again, I waited for him to extend, caught his blade, and quickly stepped in. Okay, you can't hesitate. Lucas got a good thrust right into my heart. Now we have Lucas and Skyler going at it. Okay, what hit there? An overhand thrust? No. Okay. It looked like a back cut. Almost. Yeah. Came came over with the thrust. Underneath. Another thrust. Okay, hold up hold up for a second guys. Put the blades side by side there. So you can actually see the difference okay so Skyler is using a much longer blade and it is much thinner much lighter Nice thrust.
Skyler, keep your blade on point. There you go, it's longer. It's better for the thrust, keep it more on point. Lucas, your job is going to be to control that blade. Ah, okay, you got a good thrust on you. Your job, though, is to be aware of that. Try to move first. Use your gauche to control his longer blade and get inside of him and pass. On guard. Notice the circular motion, trying to get in a good position to do a cut or thrust. That long blade is hard to beat. Okay, let's get some opinions. What do you find easiest about fighting? With the longer blade? Any blade, especially this longer one. I find uh, going for the thrust is probably the easiest way to get a kill, but you gotta make sure that you have the right timing. Um, you can turn a feint into an attack. Don't plan for it to be a feint, but just make sure that you follow through with your attacks. I like that. So what you're saying is sometimes your attack may be a feint, but you don't know it's actually a feint until you realize the attack may not work. Then you turn it into a feint and go to a different attack. Absolutely. I like that. Okay, what, what do you, are you finding easy to work with right now? Honestly, because he has the longer blade, I'm used to fighting people with a blade of similar length. It's somewhat frustrating because it's harder to measure. you have to, yeah, you have to, you're not used to the distance. Um, their thrusts are a lot easier. They cock their arm out and get better angles. Um, How can you overcome that? Well, I need to get inside his guard because it's longer. Once I get past the tip of his blade, it should be a lot easier at that point. Okay, what's the best way to do that? Use my gauche like I haven't been. Okay, use your gauche and take yourself out of line. Right. Keep circling like you have been. Very right. good. Are you ready for another, another go? Yep. Go for it. <laughs> 